First and foremost, I would like to thank Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this week's video. Welcome to the Stomping Grounds. I am your host Devin here on Pub Stomp MTG, and in today's gameplay, we're going to showcase the new Lost Caverns of Ixalan precon decks. And if you are looking to get any of these pre-constructed decks, use my link down below to help support the channel. We have four different players playing the new pre-constructed decks. First up, we do have Kodo playing the Blood Rites deck. This deck focuses on vampires putting a bunch of minions on the battlefield to sacrifice them into big giant vampire demons. And next up we do have Stefan playing the Explorers of the Deep deck. The goal of the deck is simple, put Merfolk out and buff them up by exploring. And next up we do have Spencer who is playing the new Ahoy Mates deck. The main theme of this deck is to put a bunch of pirates in the graveyard so that he can reanimate them later with Admiral Brass. And lastly, I will be playing the new Velociraptor Precon deck. The game plan is pretty simple, you ramp 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 until you put a bunch of big dinosaurs on the battlefield. And with that said, Spencer is going to be starting the game off tonight. I will play a tapped Sulfur Falls and pass the turn. Alright, uh, beginning upkeep I'll draw. I will play a Moss Ward Bridge tapped and I'll pass. And I will draw my upkeep, and I'll play an island, and I pass. Come on, you gotta play a tap land. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to play a humble swamp, and I'm going to tap said swamp, and play Blade of the Blood Chief, and pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play a choked estuary. When it enters the battlefield, I'll reveal a sunken hollow, so that it remains untapped. And then I will... Tap two, and I'll play Is It Signet, and pass the turn. Oh, ramp it ahead, Ooh. I see. All right, I ramp, will upkeep baby. draw. I will play a game trail, and I will reveal a mountain from my hand. And then I will play a Otepec Huntmaster. It'll enter the battlefield, and I'll pass. I draw, and I'm going to put a secluded courtyard. Enter the battlefield, choose a creature type. I'm going to choose a Merfolk, and then I pass. Actually, no. I'm going to tap this for both blue and put a... Whirlham Commander. Cool. I pass. Tap draw. I'm going to play planes. <laughs> I'm playing Arcane Signet. Uh, tap Arcane Signet for a, uh, a vampire. It is Master of Dark Rites. So I get to sack, sack creatures and Dark Ritual to uh, play other creatures, basically. Nice. Pass turn. Untap, keep draw, play Swamp, and I guess I'll just get going. I'll tap for four. So black, red, blue. Color list, cast my commander. Admiral Brass Unsinkable, when it enters the battlefield, mill four cards. Wrap. Okay. Wrap. Awesome. Well, that wasn't the great. Hey, no pirates. Hey, I did get a pirate. I did you? <laughs> Siren Storm Tamer, so I'll oh, move to combat. That Siren Storm Tamer is a 4 4 now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, a 4 4 flyer. Dang. All right. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Of four four Brass. fire. Oh, and it has a finality counter on it. I assume when it dies, it gets exiled. Yep, that's what it does. Okay. Does it have haste? Yep. Yep, it gets haste till end of turn. So four four flyer that I can swing. So Orzhov is probably life. Nah, gain. it's not life gain. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's all about life gain. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Thanks. I feel like we should get on top of that early. I, I, so I just don't want to get targeted our over here. <laughs> all right, I already know where this is going. Yeah, it's a you. I'm gonna take care of the problem early. So take it four. Yeah, and then I'll pass the turn. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I'll keep. I will draw. I will play a mountain for turn. Since my uh, dinosaurs cost one less to cast, I will pay three mana to play Curious Altasaur. So what I'll do with my Huntmaster, I will give it haste, and I will <coughs> swing it over. Admiral Brass is a three-three. Uh, let's see. What's yours? A two-five. It's a 2-5, yeah, and it has Vigilance, so... How big is that Merfolk, Steven? It's a 2-2 two -two right now. 2-2? Two -two? Yeah, I'll swing over towards you. Uh, I'll draw a card off of that combat trigger, and I'll pass after that. All Look right. at this value engine. I know, right? It's a Toski right. in a dinosaur form. I'm hmm? gonna untap and draw, and play down a Alchemist uh, Refuge, and then... up this for blue, blue, and colorless. Put a Merfolk Sovereign. Other Merfolk creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Target creature, target Merfolk creature can be blocked this turn. I will pass. All right, and tap draw. All right, I'm going to tap one. Man, I'm missing my land drop. 
It's not good. You were too greedy on those basic lands. You could have got tap lands. <laughs> hey, you know what? Two lands and an arcane signet opening hand, and I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Especially when a lot of this stuff... I That's mean... a competitive magic attitude, not a, not a <laughs> deck attitude. Okay, but, okay, to be fair, there's a lot of low-cost vampires in here, so... That's true, yeah, you, you got yeah, that point. Cool. I, I wouldn't have kept that if this was, like, the dinosaur deck, but... All right, so tap two, Martyr of Dusk. We are to K1, and I will just equip the Blade of the Blood Chief to Master of Dark Rites. And, man, nobody is open. Especially, what am I going to do with the 1-1 one, one, swinging away with that? Especially Curious Altasaur with a big butt. Yeah, all right. I guess I will pass turn. <laughs> <laughs> and, tap. Uh, okay, well... Sag. I'll play tap to land. Uh, so I play my land for turn, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tap one, two, three, and I will cast at sorcery speed Prismari Command. Ooh. So I'm going to draw two cards and discard two cards, and what else do I want to do? What does that equipment do, Kodo? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> Whenever a creature dies, put a plus one, plus one counter. If it's a vampire, get two plus one, plus one counters. Mm. It's harmless. Trust me, it's harmless. Plus. I mean, right now it is. Yeah, I'll just destroy that. I'm not going to let any big fatties out here. But don't worry, I won't attack you this turn. I've targeted you too hard. So I'm going to draw two and discard two. I'm going to discard Port Razor and... Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a card. <laughs> so what you going to do with that Port Razor in the graveyard, huh? <laughs> What so you gonna do with nothing, that? Nothing. And I'll also discard Merchant Raiders. Huh, I wonder what's going on. <laughs> I'll move to combat, and Admiral Brass will trigger. I guess I'll bring back Port Razor. It has a finality counter on it. It's still a 4-4. Four four. That just All gives right. you extra combats, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, so now I'm in combat. I'll send Siren Storm Tamer at Devon. Oh, I have a... I have a this has It's a flyer. Too. It has reach. Oh, it has vigilance. Oh, it has reach. Okay. <laughs> vigilance and reach. That's annoying. I just said I wouldn't swing a Kodo. Why did I say that? Yeah, are you going to break your word? Man. <laughs> I feel like I should. I mean, aren't you playing pirates? You know, it's... That is true. <laughs> I mean, you are a pirate. You, you, yeah, I was about to say, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Who says you have to follow laws? You are the I, law. I, 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 I invoke parlay. Well, you know, <laughs> the parlay... Parlay? <laughs> parlay? <laughs> I reject it because I don't respect the pirate code. I'll swing Port Razor at you, Kodo, and then Siren Storm Tamer at Devon. Oh, wait. You have reach. And I'll send the Admiral at Devon, too. I will block the Siren Storm Tamer because that has more power, and that'll just take three damage from uh, Admiral Brass. Three commander damage. Oh, three commander this damage. This is a Voltron strategy. I just block with Martyr. Ah. Okay. I'm going to create my token. I forgot. I didn't even know what that does. I just sent it. YOLO. <laughs> there you go. I will pass the turn. All right, uh, upkeep. I will draw. Let's see. I will play a Rogue's Passage, and then I will pay one to uh, play uh, a lore keeper. A keeper. It's basically a mana dork for uh, any dinosaurs or activated abilities that dinosaurs have. Oh, Spencer's wide open for business. I didn't realize that. All right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no. Yeah, we're all gonna haul on you, Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, sw I'll swing. Then I'll just haul on you next time. I mean. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. Kodo, Kodo can only have so many weenies. Right. I'll swing in with Curious Altasaur over to you, Spencer, for uh, two damage. I'll it's take just two. two. And then I will draw based off that combat, and after that I will pass. I will untap, then I'll draw my upkeep. i play down a forest. I'm just going to pay all four mana to level up the Coral Horn Commander to level four. So now it's a uh, four four flying and other merciful get plus one plus one yeah and you know i'll be uh, i'll be merciful i will pass merciful <laughs> wow i mean you could you could deal some damage to spencer if you wanted no, just tap out so i can smack you and then smack someone else <laughs> <laughs> stop oh, yeah. keeping blockers all right i'm going to untap draw <sighs> i really need some land that's what i need all right are you going to get revenge on me? <laughs> I don't know, man. Tap out. You know you want to. All right. We'll do this. One, two, three. Cast my commander. It is Clavileño, first of the blessed. 
go to combat, and I'm going to swing this little weenie <laughs> at Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> a little lifelink weenie over there. I'll take one. Oh, uh, whenever I attack, so this isn't a demon, so it's going to become a demon in addition to its other types. Um, and it also gains that text whenever it dies. Draw a card and create a tapped 4-3 white and black vampire creature token flying. Yeah, so you can Just draw, to, draw, draw to get some lands. I can, I can draw to get some lands, that is true. So are you going to are you gonna take that one? I did. All right, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gain one. Second main... Let's see if this pays off. This might not. Use Master of Dark Rites, tap it, sacrifice this token, and then I get to add three black to my mana pool. And then I also get to create, what is that, Vampire Demon? I'll, I'll, I'll chump that Siren Storm Tamer. Don't think I won't. All right, and then I get to draw a card. <laughs> All of that, wow. I drew a land. Well, there you go. <laughs> but it's, you not go. A, it's not a... It's not a uh, Untap land. Temple of Silence. I'm going to scry one. I will keep that on top, actually. Oh, I ha how I wish this was different. Because I now have three black mana floating and I can't do anything with it. Because I can only use it to cast uh, cast a uh, Vampire Cleric or Demon. Oh, right, I was hoping yeah. I'd, yeah, I was hoping I, I could draw into a land so I could cast stuff, but... I don't know, drawing a card and making a vampire on the battlefield is pretty good, too. I mean... Yeah, but I was hoping I'd get some more value out of it. Oh, well. Pass. I can't do anything. So, buy, buy black mana. Untap, upkeep draw. I will play a tapped. Hey. Riding bluff. Hey. I have to choose a color. I'll choose, other than red, I'll choose uh, blue. Dev or uh, Kodo, how strong is your commander? It's a 2-2. Two, two. Okay. I will tap 1, 2, 3 for broadside bombardier. Bombardiers. And then I will move to combat. Somehow I don't think you're going to just willy-nilly sack your port razor to do that. I would have appreciated it if you did. <laughs> I will bring back Merchant Raiders as a 4-4 oh, with a finality counter on it. Uh, Stefan, your little 4-4 you said it was? It's a 5-5 five five right now? Yeah. Well, even better. <laughs> yeah, oh, get rid of that thingy. Okay, so just stay stamped. Yeah, just stays tapped until this is gone. And what's how strong is the other one? The three three. Three three. Okay. Now let's see if I can have some fun. I will attack you spawn with port razor and broadside bombardiers. I will swing siren storm tamer at Kodo and make him chump. You're a will you're I a jump though? I don't know. I mean, take four or jump doesn't matter to me. And this is a four four. I guess I'll block your uh, port side racer with the uh, Marfolk Sovereign. Oh, uh, dang. That's not fun. <laughs> no extra combat for you. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not really But you do have that boast trigger, too, so you could activate it at that any time true. because it attacked. That is true. What would I want to say? Um, I'm not going to do anything with that, actually. I'll take mm -hmm. four. <clears throat> okay, so Marfolk Sovereign dies, and do I take any more damage? Uh, the two from this one. Okay. The for bombardiers. All right. Devin's board is just too beefy to attack. Just coincidentally, one higher than the the power and toughness I give my creatures. Yeah. Uh, I guess from there I'll pass. All right. Uh, upkeep. I will draw. All right. With this, I will play a planes and uh. Let's just do this. I'm going to tap this for a uh, white, uh, colorless, red, and two green to play uh, Pantleza Sun Favored. And so it has uh -oh. that. Uh, sorry? Uh oh. Actually, it's one less because of. Uh, I forget because of uh, Otepec Huntmaster, so I'm just going to pay four mana total because of that. Uh, I'll reveal. Okay, I get to. Uh, <laughs> I get to play uh, Migration Path. I get to search my library for up to two basic land cards and put them into the battlefield tapped and shuffle. All right. Uh, so with that, I will uh, pay. Uh, I will give uh, Panels a uh, haste, and I will swing in. Uh, Steph in the uh, open. Uh, you're you're open, so I'm just gonna swing in uh, with both. All right. How much damage? Uh, that's six total. Okay. And I will draw two cards off that because of Curious Altasaur. And I'll go to my second main. Do anything there. Um, I think I do. I will play uh, Kinjali Sungwing. 
Uh, it makes all creatures enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, and... That's lame. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> and is after it, that, is it symmetrical? All your opponent, my opponents. So it's not myself, just opponents. So yeah, after that, I'll pass. All right. You know what that means, Devin. Yeah, I'm gonna place on uh, Lenoir Reborn. There's tap. I will use my mana to cast out my commander, and I guess we're moving that plus one. And because of uh, Coral Helm, it's uh gets plus two plus two. Enters tapped. Oh yeah, it does. All right, okay. beginning of combat, I explore all of my Merfolk explore, so I have two. Uh, one of my exploring creatures gets a plus one because it's not a land. Okay, and that is my turn. Solid. Yeah. Oh joy, some land. Now you're getting some. I know, right? All right. Devin, you've made yourself a non-favorite by playing that that bird over there. <laughs> what, do, what do you got against birds? Well, everything enters tapped. It's not cool, man. <laughs> It is not cool. Play Redemption Choir. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, if you control three or more creatures with... Sorry, it enters tapped. But uh, if you control three or more creatures with different powers, return target permanent card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, that's like a Sabine's Reclamation on a stick. Kind of. It has to be a... Oh, I guess it is a permanent, yeah. yeah oh, permanent. Mm -hmm. This whole tap thing is kind of annoying. You're telling me. My whole thing is bringing him back from the graveyard. That <laughs> <laughs> shuts me down completely. Yeah, right? It just makes my right. so slow. And I'm going to bring fast. back Blade of the Blood Chief. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, sorry, Stefan. I'm going to... I'm gonna smack you for one. <laughs> oh, how could you? He's open for business, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So whenever it attacks... It becomes a, so again, same thing, uh, becomes a demon, it gains that text right here. So it is a demon, just FYI, guys. And then I will pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, and cast the Grim Captain's Locker. So I am going to tap it to surveil one. All right. So that's going in the graveyard. I guess I will move to combat now. Yeah, what are you going to do? I will use her ability to bring back a tapped Stormfleet Negotiator. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 4-4 well, four, four flyer. What? How strong is that bird thing, Dino? It's a 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Two, three Dude, he's going to see if he starts swinging at you until that bird's gone. <laughs> he's going to make you jump with the bird. <laughs> He's gonna make you chump with that bird. Since I'm in combat, my first combat, finally Port Razor will trigger. Stefan, I'll be targeting you with him. Yep, yeah, but you know, I expected that. And then, Koda, what do you have over there? You have two creatures. I have a 2-2 two, two and a 4-3. What the? What's the 4-3? Uh, my vampire demon. He's oh still... I didn't that's, attack with them. Well, that's no fun. I guess I'll just say YOLO. I'll just swing out everyone, just for... No, wait, except for my commander. Swing everybody else. So, Savan, you take four. Devin, I'm going to send Broadside Bombardiers at you, as well as Siren Storm Tamer. And then, Kodo, you get Merchant Raiders. I'll block okay. with Kajali. All right, so Siren, Siren will kill him. Um, and then you take two from the Bombardiers. I am going to block, but before... Uh damage i'm going to village rights sacking the vampire before damage as well i'm going to activate the bo the bombardier's ability and sacrifice this thingy it gets, ex <laughs> it gets exiled <laughs> and i get to do six damage and i'm going to do it to devon's big <laughs> dinosaur no not the <laughs> <laughs> get out of here with that hey. big butt. i'm going to draw my two cards for village rights port razor triggers Everything untaps. I get a second combat. Port Razor is now going at Devon, and your commander's a 2 2. I will send my commander over at you. And what then is your commander? It's a 3 3. I will also send the Bombardiers at you, and the Stormcaller at Devon, and then the Stormfleet Negotiator at Stefan. Yeah, how much? Spread, is... Spreading the love out. Going down to 28. All right, they'll trigger, untap again. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Stupid Port Razor. All right. I'm now I'm swinging Port Razor at Koda. Let's see if you'll give up your commander. I would really I'm appreciate scared to tap out all the way, so Koda, if Koda chumps, then I'm just wide open for revenge. I'm tapping everyone out. Crack Koda, crack. you're getting Port Razor, the Bombardiers, because it has Menace, 
So that's six at you. And then, Devin, you'll get Storm Tamer and my commander, so seven. Stefan, you'll get four. Well, the game has to end somehow. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Well, that was a change of events. That was painful. I know. You let Port Razor go off one time, and then that happens. I will draw an upkeep. I'll play a Fortified Village Tap. Play... Thundering uh, Spineback, and Pantlaza will trigger to Discover, and based off of the toughness, it's 5, so I'll Discover 5. Alright, uh, Descendant's Path uh, is what I got. Yeah, I need to uh, leave up a blocker, so I'll just swing Pantlaza over at uh, Spencer, and I will pass after that. Finally get to untap. I draw this card. Okay, I'm gonna place down a uh, Divine Glimmer Snarl. I will reveal a Forest. Has this for blue, blue, and... Colorless. Put a uh, Copala Warden of Waves. I'm gonna then tap all three to cast uh, Quandrix Command. I'm gonna choose to return uh, your Port Racer. I'm gonna put two plus ones onto my commander. Beginning of combat, I will explore three. Now I will declare attackers. Spencer, I want you to take eight damage. Commander damage, by the way. No. And because the, he attacked, I get to put a land card onto the battlefield. I will play it, put down a forest. I will end my turn. Play me a land. Tap. One, two. Three, four. Five. Champion of Dusk. Uh, enters the battlefield, you draw X cards, and you lose X life, where X is the number of vampires you control. I control three, so I will lose three life, mm -hmm. and I will draw three cards. Spencer, you be open for business. Uh -huh. uh, I'm going to uh, smack you with uh, Redemption Choir. Use that to return Martyr of Dusk back to the battlefield. I will take three. And has lifelinks, so I will gain three. So I will tap this for white, and I will use this to sacrifice Martyr of Dusk for three black. I use the white and the black to cast Legion Lieutenant. Use the two, two alas, floating black to play Cordial Vampire. That's it. I will pass turn after that. Untap. All right, first I will tap to surveil one, and then I will move to combat. Uh-oh, what's coming back out? I think I have anything in the graveyard. I do not. This is exiled. Dang. <clears throat> Nothing. Alright, who has creatures untapped? Everyone. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Odo only has one, so he's gonna get the bombardiers. Yeah, what are you talking does, about? He doesn't have any flying creatures, too. Oh, wait. Those ones down there are creatures, too, huh? Yeah, they are. They are. These are all creatures. Okay, great. He doesn't have any flyers. Stefan is safe. <laughs> I'm not attacking him. <laughs> Devin and Kodo both do not have flyers. So you both get one of these boys. So both get a 4 4. But I'll also attack with these two. This one will be coming at. You, Kodo, and my commander will be coming at you, Devin. I'll jump with my uh, Huntmaster. Well, then I choose to uh, block with uh, these two boys. Okay, uh, each vampire is going to get a plus one, plus one counter then. So I'll sack. These both connect. I, you don't have blockers. Devin, you jumped to this, you said? Yep. So I take Then I'll sacrifice my that. commander. No, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> You're not going to sacrifice your commander? No, I what? am going to sacrifice. It's two oh, plus. Yeah. So it's six damage. And then this will be done. Six damage. Actually, I guess you have the highest life, so yeah, you'll take six. Yeah, in oh. addition to the four. Yeah. So you okay. get ten. Ten. Devin takes four. Stefan save. Tap four and play Pitiless Plunderer. Should have done that before, but I messed up. No worries. Pay one red mana. I'll cast for one red mana. Blasphemous Act. That'll blow everything up. That will give me two Pitiless Plunderer triggers. These guys are both gone forever. Yeah, you guys started getting board states, so I had to <laughs> calm us all down a little bit. Where's my blood artist? Oh, gosh. Yeah, that would have hurt. <laughs> then he wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Probably not. Blood um, artist is your insurance policy. From there, I'll pass my turn. All right, upkeep. I will uh, drop, and this will trigger, but I don't have any creatures on the board. <laughs> so... Uh, what I'll do is uh, my commander now costs 7 mana to cast, and that's what I will do. I will just cast my commander for 7, 
and then I will discover a chroma's will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'll just put that to my hand, and then I'll put the rest on the bottom of my library. And with that, uh, I will pass, because... All right, I will untap my lands. I will draw this guy. I will play forest for turn. I will do uh, two green to play deep root elite. I will use the rest of my mana to uh, cast up my commander. Oh look, a Merfolk entered. I'm going to put a plus one on my commander. Uh, beginning of combat, they are going to explore. Deep root elite explores a land, put it into my hand. And Hawkball explores a sorcery. And because of that, it gets a plus two. And it reveals... Oh. The land that I revealed was Rogue's Passage. And a curse that is flying. I will put it on top of my library. I will pass my turn. Alright. Isolated Chapel. One, two, three, four. We're going to play... Alenda. Ooh. I'll do this right now. Alenda's Hierophant, otherwise known as Alenda Light. Life so it's another Alenda on the battlefield, is what you're saying. Exactly. No, it, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. Alenda Light. That's it. I'll pay you. One tap. <clears throat> Upkeep draw. Play my land for turn. Smoldering Marsh. I have two basics, so it's untapped. I'm going to cast my commander for six mana. I'm going to tap this to Surveil. Put that back on top. What? You didn't want to dump it in the graveyard? Must I not have been know. a pirate. I don't know what my genius plan is. Nobody has a low enough IQ to understand. You're in I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for you to uh, dump that port razor into the graveyard so you can reanimate it. I am going to tap three, sacrifice a treasure, and cast Malcolm. Oh, oh good wow. Malcolm. Nice, get some treasure dread generation. And then I will move to combat. My commander will trigger. Do you, even, do you even have anything in your graveyard? Yeah, I do. You Pitalist actually do have pirates Plunderer. in your graveyard? Bring back Pitalist Plunderer. Oh, get some <laughs> more treasure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to sacrifice the other treasure. And I'm going to sacrifice one of the maps. I'm going to have Pitalist Plunderer explore. Uh, and there was a land on top, so I'll draw that. Okay. I'll pass the turn. Uh, upkeep. I will draw... And then I'll have an upkeep trigger at the beginning of your upkeep. Uh, reveal the top card of my library. If it shares a creature type, I can maybe put it on the battlefield for free. It is not. It's a path to exile. And I'll just put it on the bottom of my library. That would have been That's nice. That's a lion creature on the art. <laughs> not a dinosaur. I know, right? I was just thinking that. Okay. So with that, I'll pay eight mana. <laughs> oh, no. I'll play Zatalpa, Primal Dawn. <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. No. <laughs> and, the uh, Con card, no. Pantless up will trigger because it has a toughness of eight. I could discover for eight. That thing has, oh, that thing has so double strike, close. right? <laughs> so close. It's a four eight with double strike? Yeah, four eight with double strike. Uh, Is it indestructible, too? Yeah. Son of a god. And Vigilance? <laughs> and Vigilance. Oh, and trample. <laughs> All right, I'll discover for uh, Drover of the Mighty on the battlefield. I I wish Apex Altasaur was eight. That would have worked perfectly. I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> I was so close, so close for glory. Then after that, I will play a uh, Fury Calm Snarl uh, tapped. Yeah, I'll, I'll just swing in with Pantlaza. Okay. And after that, I will pass. I will untap. Then draw. I'm gonna place down my uh, rogue's pass, my rogue's passage. And I, I really don't appreciate what uh, both you, uh, Devin, and Spencer are doing. So I'm uh, I'm just gonna curse of the swine. Oh, curse of the swine works against the Talpa. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And uh, let's see, uh, Spencer, how many creatures do you have? Three. Three, Devin. Uh, I have uh, four. Uh, three. Sorry. Yeah, three. Okay, so one, two. You also want to get uh, Kodo's vampires four, too because five, they could be deadly. Six, seven. Okay, I can XL seven. Crystal Swine. Well, uh, you know Spencer and Devin. I don't like. I don't like you guys having creatures, so exile all of them. Uh, you also and... have uh, one more creature to exile too. 
Yeah, Kato, which one's more troublesome from uh, your setup? If you Probably, know? they're both the same thing, but you have a flyer with uh, the other Alinda version. So All right, probably... yeah, then the flyer. All right, there are my little boars. A boar. And pirates. Yeah. Up their pigs. All right, I think that was a uh, pretty good, you know, play. Time for combat. Each Merlfolk is going to explore. Deep Road Explorer first. Uh, he's going to get a plus one. I'm going to put it back, and Habonk is going to explore, so he gets another one. And what I explored was Thieving Skydiver. Okay, and I'm going to attack you, Spencer, with my commander. So I don't have any lands to play, so I draw a card, and that is my turn. Play my Swamp. See, my commander costs 5 now. Well, at least your commander doesn't cost 9. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. Or eight. Oh gosh. I feel like we now have to car target Stefan. He has the big boys. And he hopefully fats. used his answers. Yeah, he did use Curse right. of the Swine. Yeah. That was probably for the better because the Talpo is going to do some serious damage. Yeah, yeah, I was not risking that. Pay five. Recast my commander. Tap two. Uh, Bartolome del Presidio, uh, sacrifice another creature artifact, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Pay this one and equip Blade of the Blood Chief to Alinda. Sack the boar to my vampire here. Put a plus one plus one counter on him. And then also triggers Alinda. And she gets three plus one plus one counters because of Blade and then her ability. She is now 5-5. Five, five. So I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack with her, triggering this ability so she becomes a demon with the text on there. Uh, I'm swinging it at Spencer. Okay. So you take... So, yeah. And then I gain 5. Another 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters. Jeez. So now she is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Nope, that's it. Upkeep. And draw. Play my land for a turn to a morphic expanse. I'm going to tap this for its second ability, so creatures in my graveyard get escape, pay three generic and a black, and exile four cards to cast it from the graveyard. And then I'm going to tap for eight, these two from the graveyard. And I have nine cards in my graveyard, so I'll exile eight of them. I guess I will pass the turn from there. Okay, uh, upkeep. I will untap. And then uh, I will draw, and then Descendant's Path will trigger uh, if I have any swine. Oh look, Atali, is that a swine? Do we count that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'll just put it on the bottom of the library. Alright, okay, so... Let's do this before it gets too crazy out of hand. I'm gonna pay four mana. And I will play uh, Bronzebeak Foragers. And so with that, I'm going to exile three different uh, creatures on the battlefield. I'm going to exile Hackball for um, Stefan's creature. I'm going to exile okay. Alinda. And uh, I'm going to exile the Goblin Pirate. I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, I have a response. I'm just going to sack it. Okay. And then I get to create... Uh... Eight one one vampires. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you you brought it upon yourself. I mean, if I didn't do it now, it would have just got bigger and then make more vampires. Um, with that, I at have... least you won't get it back. Yeah, it's not exile; just goes to the graveyard now. I'm going to play uh, pay three mana to play cultivate. Shoot my library for two cards, put one on the battlefield. All right, let's do this just to kind of put a board state. I'm going to pay four mana. To play a majestic uh, helicopterist. That'll be it. I'll pass. Okay. On tap everything. So six to cast uh, to the Toyak, the Smiling Flood. So I'm going to put a flood counter on, I don't know, a Rogue's Passage. Cast this for blue and then rest. And I'll put a Evian Skydiver. I do not care about its X cost, so it just. And I'm going to put a counter on it also 
Alright, and at the end of my turn, I guess I, you know, untap Rogue's Passage. And I pass my turn. Playing a Plains. Um, alright. Maverick Fane, Dusk Apostle. Attach Blade of the Blood Chief here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... So I'm gonna go to combat. I'm going to attack Spencer with these two right here. Um, trigger my commander, and I'm going to give it this abil this vampire that ability, so it becomes a demon, and then gains that text. Um, trigger Maverick Fane whenever uh, one or more non-token vampires you control attacks. I get to create another one. So this will be my one one vampire for now, I guess. So these two coming your way, Spencer. I'll for take... now. How much is it? Five total? Yes, it would be five total. Now pay one, two, three. Actually, probably should have done this first. Oh well. Um, I'll play Heirloom Blade. Yeah, I definitely should have done this first. And I will go ahead and just pay one to equip it. And I will attach it to this lifelink tokener. So it gets plus three, plus one. So it is now a four, two. Spencer, I think we need another Blasphemous Act. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's your board wipe? Me and Stefan have both done it. <laughs> uh, we'll see if I get it. <laughs> if I have one, I'm not sure. Anything else? That is it. Untap. Upkeep. Draw, tap this to surveil. Just pass my commander. Keep one mana open, I guess. Keep this open, tap everything else. What you doing keeping that mana open? I am a blue deck. And right, you're going to go to combat tap. and then reanimate the pirate? Well, first, it's going to have an ETB that I'm not going to forget. Oh, shoot. One. I need grass marauders. So. <laughs> uh oh. Two, three. Another one. Four. Alright. Sounds like something needs to get bagged. Well, sounds like it's going to be too late because I'm moving to combat right now. I will move to combat. Wow, look at all these board states. This is so fun. I guess I'll just bring this back. The Angrath's Marauders. What is that to? It, if I, a source I control deals damage to a, 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 a permanent or player, it deals twice that damage. Keep up my one mana and pass the turn. What do you what? got there? Like you're a... not you're not gonna smack with Angras Marauders. But everyone has blockers. Big fat blockers are wide board states. It's okay. You just swing that into the six six, <clears throat> and they take take each other out. Nah, I'll just keep him here as my little, essentially ten ten block or ten five blocker. That's that's fair. <laughs> Ten five blocker sounds nice. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, but technically, doesn't that mean that your other pirates also? Yeah, it's any source you deal. Yeah. Oh, true. So I got a bunch of them. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand behind my wall. <laughs> just now. keep building the wall until we <laughs> cast another board wipe. <laughs> yep. That's. And or at least until you fin Kodo's little bird over there. He's got like ten <laughs> dudes. I know. All the sacrifices. I can't get past all that. You have five. They're, they're slowly just going to start getting upgraded to vampire demons. Right. <laughs> I know. We got to stop that real soon. All right. With that, I will uh, upkeep and draw for my turn. And then Descendant's Path will trigger. Uh, then Ooh, Ripjaw Raptor could uh, go on to. I could play it for free right there. And so with that, I will pay uh, to play Marauding Raptor, another Raptor on the battlefield. Oh, nice. And then all my dinosaurs, will, uh, all creature spells I cast will cost one less. Okay, cool. I have eight mana to cast my commander because it costs one less with Marauding Raptor. And I will pay eight mana total. And then it enters the battlefield and I will explore. Ooh, Sun for all, uh, Imitator. Uh, whenever it does attack, you may have it become a, tar uh, a copy of another target dinosaur I control, except its name is Sun for all Imitator and it has this ability. And with that, uh, I will pass. I will untap everything I own. Uh, okay, for once, uh, I'm going to do my first ever ramp into a soul ring. Turn Yay. ten ramp into a soul ring. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's the best kind of plane there is. That's when you want to ramp. this turn ten. Exactly. Put on the gas. Then we'll use this to cast a uh, prime speaker uh, Vigana when it enters the battlefield uh, with X plus one plus one counters, which is the greatest power of modern creatures I control, which is six. And I draw six, uh, oh, I draw seven cards. Okay, I will put first off a uh, Path of Ancestry. Oh, uh, this will be good enough. All right, I'm just gonna do blue, blue, do wave goodbye. Return each creature with a plus one, plus one counter on it to its owner's hand. I am going to sack a vampire. Dang, first curse of the swine and also now this. <laughs> This actually might be to my benefit a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and sack this guy. So I'm going to give him plus two plus or two plus one plus one counters. Um, and then I'm going to start sacking these guys. So sack, sack, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this gets 16 more counters. All right, and then I'm going to sack this one as well. So putting another two on here and then adding another one here. And then whenever this equipped creature dies, you may re um, reveal cards on top of your library until you reveal a creature uh, oh, that the same type with it. Okay, so, so once yeah, once this goes off, Devin's thing is gone, so I get my creature back. That's yep, that's true, you do. Forever. Yeah. And these remain. Yeah, I guess it's my turn now. Someone's dying. Uh, someone without any creatures on the board, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe how about the one that do that does have a creature that doesn't have flying? Raw. Tap one, two, three. Going to replay my commander for three from my hand. How big is your that other one? So you have an eighteen eighteen flyer, and how big is the other one? Um, no, this is more than an 1818 he's actually a uh so he's a 22 21 flyer actually and how about yeah. the other guy how about the other one he is a 14 15 or sorry 14 13 i think this is for the better of the table so tap two and play dusk legion zealot and then i'm going to tap four cast new blood stephen i'm taking your flyer <laughs> the <Merfolk>. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So that merfolk is now mine. You know what? I said it's for the better of the table. I always then... said for the better of the table. I mean, me and are looking pretty defeated. Yeah, we're all like... So... <laughs> oh, my so... I mean, okay, I so here's the thing. Here's the thing. He just refilled with a whole, like, handful of cards. I'm going to go ahead and... Because you don't have any more flyers, so I'm going to uh, swing, with my... swing with my fatty at you. It's a 22-21. Yeah, I guess I die. Pass. Alrighty. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Alrighty. I'm going to tap five. Are you going to take it out? No. You're going to steal it? Possibly. Don't do that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Just going to keep my tap stuff over here for now. Chorus of Recruiter. <laughs> Whenever a coercive recruiter or another pirate enters the battlefield under your control, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature until end of turn. It gains haste and becomes a pirate in addition to its other types. Great. So I'm going to steal your sack outlet. There All you right. go. And then I will cast... For five mana, my commander. Yeah, well, that's whenever is it it or another or another pirate or whenever coercive recruiter or another pirate enters the battlefield under your control. So this is gonna trigger again. I'm gonna steal something else. So I'm okay. stealing the big boy. Does it untap it? <laughs> yeah. It untaps. It. Oh shoot! <laughs> oh, 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 so I should have sacked it. I should yeah, just start exactly. sacking it. That's things. why I asked. I yeah. asked if you had a response. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I was like, Oh dang! You can swing out for the win, right? Oh dang! Yeah, no, you can just kill kill both yeah, of us. Yeah, I'll take now. it, and then I'll go to combat. My commander triggers. I take another creature, so I'll take your commander from you. And then I'll swing and kill you with the big flyer, and I'll swing the, everything else at Devin and kill him too. Oh. 
I want to thank you guys so much for coming by and watching this video for this gameplay for the new Lost Caverns of Ixalan Precon decks. What was really cool and neat about the game is everybody showcased basically what the Precon basically did to its fullest. And again, if you are looking to buy any of these Precons, you can use the link down below in the description so that you can go get them. So with all that said, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, thank you for stomping by.